guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm showing you all my learner car. So, this is a 2003 Ford Street Car or Street K A or Street Car, however you want to say it. There's no proper pronunciation. It is a 1.6 litre engine. Uh, I don't know exactly if it's petrol or diesel. My brother knows more than me, and <laughs> it's my car, but you know. Um, so it's a two seater, two seater convertible sports car. Um, it is really nice. We picked it up yesterday for only a grand. Um, now, the main issue with these cars is the rust. But luckily, I, I don't think you'll be able to see on the camera. But this version, this example is quite clean. There's barely any rust on it at all. Um, so that's good. There are a couple issues with it, nothing major. Um, I know that the brakes need doing um, and it needs some new fuses. Um, and also, a part of the centre console has fell into it, but that's pretty much it. And the glove box. But uh, yeah, let's uh, take a quick look around it so you can see for yourselves. They are weird looking cars, but I like the look of them. Um, so yeah, it's got a British racing green paint. A couple of, actually, the paint's all right on it. A few scratches there, but. Let's have a look. So to unlock it, you just put in the key and you twist it to the left. This car is designed by Pininfarina, you know, the famous Italian car designers. So here we are on the interior. Very, very small and basic. Um, I've put up a tutti frutti um, jelly belly air freshener, which does smell really nice. It's like a bubble gum scent. Obviously, you got your visors here. This one doesn't have a mirror. The passenger one does, although it is a very small mirror. Um, the roof, I'm not f properly sure how to operate it. I, I can try, but I've not done it. It's in neutral. Uh, I'm not going to do a rev test this video, I've only had one driving lesson and I don't want to risk crashing this or whatever, or damaging it. But yeah, here we are. So, very, very basic interior indeed. But this is the luxury model. So you get heated, you get heated leather seats, um, get a few decent features. The heating in this car is really, really nice, but there was an issue where if we put it on full blast, so four and the max, it actually stalled the car. Uh, that's because of the fuses being outdated, so we'll get new ones fitted in it tonight, and then that won't be an issue anymore. The heating system is really, really good on this, to be honest. Um, street car mats, I'll give it a good hoover as well. It won't be hard to hoover this, small car. So you've got your simple radio. This button here has actually fell into the console. I don't think you can see on camera because it's really sunny. But in there, it's actually fell in. It's fine. We'll be able to fish that out anyway. Um, here's the radio. It's very simple. Just push it in. You know, select whatever. Um, you've got a CD thing as well if you want CDs, which I don't really. Uh, you've got your aircon. You got your fog lights there, you got your windshield clear roll, whatever it's called, and this is to circulate the air around the car. Now you got your basics, you got to heat up front windshield, you got that on your face, you got your legs and windshield, just your legs, your face and your legs, or just your face. So that's good. Um, electric windows, let me uh, put in my key so I can show you, 
not going to start the car, but... Right. So this just slots in the side. I'll just turn it once. As you can see. I'll turn it three times, actually. So there we go. So yeah, electric windows. I'm gonna turn this off now. Um, that is not my cat, by the way. Very limited storage in here. So you've got your seats. Obviously, you've got a, a gap there. Uh, that part, I don't actually know what that is. My brother moved it. He picked it up for me last night. Um, you've maybe that's storage. Okay, that's coming loose. Whatever that is. Um, you got your light there. Just flick it to turn it on. Very simple. Uh, you got your roll cage, and then you got your actual window, which is quite foggy, but we'll get that cleared. Um, I don't know what that is. That's something to do with the roof mechanism. It's like that on either side anyway, so I think it's meant to be like that. And obviously, you got your seat belts. Um, limited storage you've got a net here which as you can see on camera very limited storage but we got the net and within the net we've got whatever these are i think these are just basic tools come on come on out one minute so yeah, you got very rusty, ew, horrible, rusty tools, which I don't really want to touch them, to be honest with you. Ew, gross. Um, so they just sit in the net, but you could use that net for a bottle holder. That's what I do when I start properly driving it. And then, of course, you got the thing that lifts up the bonnet. Um... I don't know how, how you open up the bonnet, to be honest. I think you move that forward, but I don't want to risk it. Um, maybe? Yeah, uh, I don't have a clue how you open the bonnet, to be honest. So, we'll leave that. Um, tiny cubby space there. Pretty useless. Maybe you can put a few coins in it. Uh, the vents, I keep them shut until I'm actually using them. Um, but yeah, that's basically it on the here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, operate the roof. So, I think you need the electrics on. You take down the visors. You pull these to the right. So, that one to the left. And then, let me get out... Right, the electrics are on, yet. Yeah. Right. No, I, I... I actually do not know how this works. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. As you can see... It's sort of opening, and then I think this bit lifts up, maybe. Hmm. Ah, you know what? I don't have a clue. So, yeah, I don't have a clue. That's unfortunate. If I knew, I'd show you. It's, oh. And it closes like that, pretty scary. Um, I'll have to show you that another time because unfortunately I have no idea whatsoever. Um, right, let's turn off the electrics now. Don't want to waste my battery or whatever. Let's 
check out the boot. Um, right. Why the hell is the key for the boot? Or do I just simply lift it up like that? Oh my god. I don't even know how to open the boot on my own car. Wow. Wow, isn't that embarrassing? Hi, Chico. Yeah, I don't even know how to open the boot. Give me a minute. I think I figured out how to uh, open the boot. I had to phone my brother. Right. So, it must be this cubby here. Yeah, that folds down. And then there's a small little keyhole in there. You can just about see it on the camera. So, put in my key. Twist it. Doesn't seem to be doing anything, to be honest. Now my key's stuck. Right, okay. This must be it. Hold on a minute. Right, okay. No. See, these things are awkward. Um, I suppose I could just... Oh, that did the trick. Yeah, that seems to have done it. Don't know why I thought of that later. But the boot in here is actually pretty spacious. Um, right, okay. That thing slowly closes down, so don't want to risk that. But it is a nice big boot. And under here, you do actually get a spare tyre. Uh, I'm not sure what that's for, but yeah, the boot is big, basically. Okay, that's locked. that automatically locks on its own. Now, I'm going to try and figure out how you do the roof. If not, then I guess that's the end of this video. But uh, I'll try and figure it out for you. Well, unfortunately, I cannot figure out how to do the roof, which is a shame. I'll have to make a separate video on that. But, uh, that's locked, isn't it? It is now. So, unfortunately, I don't know how to work the roof. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye. One last thing I forgot to mention is I need a few things fit into it, so I'm planning to get in a um, phone holder, definitely, just like in case I keep the car, this is what I'll put in it, so I need a phone holder, and I think I forgot to show you something in it, well, knowing me I did, that's the wrong way. Right, let me show you. Mm. Sound like it's farting. Um, yeah, I forgot to show you a few things. Um, this, if I can put my camera, well, I'll just show you it's like that. Hopefully, you can see. Is where the cigarette tray is. You got a small holder for coins. I need um, some sort of Bluetooth adapter that goes into the uh, cigarette holder because obviously this car is 2003 it doesn't have Bluetooth so I need a phone holder I need a Bluetooth adapter and I suppose that's it really yeah I suppose that's it um there's a tiny gap I think that's meant to be there anyway yeah it should be fine but yeah, um, thanks for watching my review, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you like the car as much as I do. Yeah, that's all I've got to say.